this up, it is the anonymous sneakerhead, the most mysterious sneaker YouTuber in the game. Back with another video for you guys today, man. And in today's video, I got a shoe. It's pretty old by now, but hey, I'm excited about it. It is what it is. Those of you who've, who have been around the channel know that I'm excited about this shoe. And I'll tell you guys why, obviously, as the video goes. But speaking of those of you that have been around, man, at the time of me recording this video, we are currently at 890 subscribers, man. Thank you guys so much for all of the support. We recently just hit 65,000 views. Let's keep on growing. The goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you are new here, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Join the Anonymous Sneakerhead family. Join the channel. Let's see. I know it's a little late. Haven't been posting videos as often, but hey, that period of work is over. Now, from here all the way up to the end of January, the videos will be coming more frequently but like i said man the goal is to hit a thousand by the end of the year if you're new go ahead and hit that subscribe button man let's see if we can hit 900 before december starts man goal is to hit a thousand by the end of the year i know we could do it also make sure you go ahead smash that like button you know what i'm saying it helps with the algorithms helps bring more people to the channel and then last but not least make sure that you go ahead follow the instagram at anonymous sneakerhead that is enough of the intro man let's get in to this video man so right here i got the box and i have not seen these in person yet so you guys are gonna get the good look with me or first look with me as you can see now let me know if this has been happening to you guys but for whatever reason nike this is the second time they've done this this and i think it was the animal instinct threes um it happened before but they send the box with the just rob me tape but then on the back side there's no tape um it's blue down though but i just i don't know i don't like that for whatever reason but let's get into this unboxing since it's not uh taped actually you know what i will grab a knife because that blue is pretty serious okay i got the knife now let's get into it uh, there we go. gotta be careful not to cut the shoe oh bang cut that and it's going right down perfect Bang. All right, so that's what I thought of the box already. Um, as old as this shoe is, um, believe it or not, I have not watched a review on it. So I didn't know if we would get any type of special box. I don't know why we would get a special box. There's no need to. But here it is, regular Nike box. You get a lot of uh, regular Nike shoes in here, Air Maxes, um, whatever it is. And here we go. What do we have? We have the Nike Air Max 1. And the official colorway, let me get it in the light, is white and magma orange so y'all know what it is you read the title you saw the thumbnail you know what's going on we'll pop the top open peel back the paper and here it is so this is my first uh time wow getting a look at these and okay um let me take the other one out throw this box to the side all right wow um yeah man here we go youtube we have the air max one in the magma orange colorway man these are sweet in person i personally uh never owned i've owned air max ones but what was it two years ago when they went back and they remastered kind of like how they're doing with the air max 90 this year um I think it was two years ago, maybe three years ago, they went back, they did the OG, the red one, and then they did the blue one. Um, I never owned either of those two pairs, so I didn't know what the materials felt like. I thought this was going to be a lot more suede-ish. Um, matter of fact, let me grab, it should be back here, uh, if I could find it. I thought material-wise, it was going to be more similar to these. Um, the Have a Nike Day ones, if you guys have ever felt these before i mean you have the kind of long haired suede on the mud guard and it's a little shorter right up here but this isn't a suede i don't know what this it actually feels similar to the air max 90 infrared or the air max 3 infrared that came out this year a little bit that felt ish is on there but it's not felt it's just really smooth i don't know what this is i like it though um it's not so it's not what i expected but i really like it uh, yeah, so here's a good look at the whole shoe.
let's get into the review, man. So here we have the Air Max One, the first ever shoe that exposed the air bubble, designed by Tinker Hatfield. We know all of that stuff. Um, here's the outsole, regular waffle pattern outsole that we're used to getting on Air Max Ones. Um, mud guard around. The mud guard is orange, orange swoosh, gray on the upper. That nice soft mesh right there. And then on the insole, I don't know if you can see that, but we do have the magma orange with the white Nike Air. Now, why is this shoe so special to me? Or so, why did I want it so bad? Well, obviously, um, not obviously, but I am a Cincinnati Bengal fan. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? I try to get as much orange in there as I want. But the shoe doesn't have a bunch of black in it like the Bengals jersey does, ex with the exception of the outsole. So, long time ago when these came out only overseas, these and the green ones which i really want the green ones as well um if you know you know those of you who know who i am know why that green and white is vicious to me um but i would really like to have the green ones as well but it's crazy when i couldn't get these at first and they came out overseas the resale prices are crazy that's why i actually went ahead and got these and these actually have more black in them i put black laces in them these look more like a cincinnati bengals colorway than these so i guess that it is good i have both of these for different reasons um oranges on them are pretty similar but i got these and then i didn't like how that orange looked so i got these which i haven't worn yet but now i can finally get it they came out in the u.s um on the sneakers app about a week ago and i was able to pick them up get my hands on them i don't know if you guys know this the air max one is my single favorite air max silhouette um i'll take an air max one over an air max 90 any day that's just my opinion but yo i this is crazy i don't know i'm sorry i know i'm stuttering a lot this is a shock to me, uh, the material and the quality on these is super nice. Let me take this out, the toe box right here. Yeah, man, I don't know what this, if anybody knows what this material is, let me know down below in the comments, man. I'm kind of just shook. Uh, the reason why I did this review with y'all, the way that I did was so you guys could get my initial reaction to the shoe um, when I first, very first saw it. And here it is, man, this material is, really really nice it's not sweet i don't know what it is i don't know what's going on you guys can see the outsole right there the nike air which has been paid homage to on all of the air max 90s from this year let me just take this out so this is the air max 90 insole right here and this is the outsole of the air max one and as you can see they match up which is pretty cool um at least i think they do yeah they should yep there they go but yeah, man, I am absolutely in love with these. I didn't want to like these as much. I still think I like the green ones better, but these are tough. You get the Nike Air on the back. I just like touching these paws. They feel so, so good, man. Um, regular size tag. Yup, nothing super retro with it. But yo, that is it for this one, man. I know it was a weird review. I was not expecting the quality on these to be this good and this interesting. Those of you that have these in person know what I'm talking about. I'm sure the green ones are the same. Um, I haven't seen the green ones in person and touched them, but I'm sure the material on them is the same as these because they came out in kind of like a pack-like situation. But absolutely love these, man. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, man. Do you know what this material is? Before I end the video off, man, I just want to say to everybody, at the time of me recording this video, it's actually Wednesday, but I probably won't upload it until tomorrow which is thanksgiving so real quick happy thanksgiving to everybody happy turkey day to those of you that celebrate it if you don't celebrate it well happy day you know what i mean go tell the people that you're thankful for thank you tell them you love them go spend time as much as you can with your loved ones obviously covid is out here so don't do nothing crazy but that is it for this video you guys i am the anonymous sneakerhead if you were new here, help us hit our goal of a thousand by the end of the year and hit that subscribe button to join the Anonymous Sneakerhead family. Also, make sure that you go ahead and take the time. It takes half a second. Go ahead and take the time to smash that like button. Really helps with the algorithms. Helps us show up on more people's YouTubes, which could potentially bring more people to the channel and can help us hit our goals. And then last but not least, make sure that you go ahead and follow the Instagram at anonymous sneakerhead man you get a lot of information up there first you actually would have seen me have posted these yesterday already but that is it for this one you guys i am the most mysterious sneaker youtuber in the game and as always it's all about the sneakers